So, um, Fry said that there are three different reading speeds, and there are also four different reading styles. And these can be seen of, if we think about what we read, um, make a list of the kinds of reading that you do. For example, a newspaper, uh, you may make a long list of all the different kinds of reading that you do. And you can probably look at most reading as one of these things. It's either skimming, scanning, intensive reading, or extensive reading. Um, skimming is just, um, I don't know if you've ever played with, if you go to a river or a lake and get little flat stones, and you can throw them and they kind of go along the water like this. And that's called skimming. So skimming is just when you go along the top. And skimming, when you're reading, you just go along the top and take some of the meaning and understand not everything, but just understand what it's about. Scanning, on the other hand, is looking for specific information. So you want to find something. You've got a book or some piece of some piece of writing and you look through the writing to try and find this information or to answer your question. Intensive reading is trying to understand everything and extensive reading is mostly for fun, just for enjoyment. And these are the different kinds of reading. Um, so here are some examples of the different kinds of reading. Uh, so skimming, for example, a newspaper or a website we just look through to find what, what it's about. Um, scanning something like a train timetable, we look through and try and find when is my train. It's this time. Um, a telephone book, if we're looking through some kind of directory for some information, that's where we want to know. We don't read the whole thing from start to finish. Um, intensive reading, if you're reading a recipe, if you're doing some cooking, then you want to read the recipe very careful very carefully. If you are making okonomiyaki, don't forget the eggs. Uh, so read each step. A test question, you should also read intensively. And a love letter, you may want to read every line again and again and again. Um, a novel is an example of something that we read extensively. So we're reading for fun. We are not skimming, we're not scanning. We're not reading every word carefully for complete understanding. We're just reading for fun. And the same with magazines. Um, so we can see these, um, these different kinds of reading. And it's a good idea to think about L1 and L2. So L1 is your first language. When you're reading in your first language, you know what kind of reading you should do automatically. You don't need to think about this. You just pick up something and you know, oh, I need to skim, I need to scan, I need to do intensive reading here. You know what to do. It's also easy to scan and skim in your first language. These are quite high level skills for reading. And if you haven't read a lot, you can't skim. And if you haven't read, if you're not used to the way that text is organized, and if you don't recognize letters and words very well, then it's very difficult to scan and to go and find, pick out words that you're looking for. And knowing which words you need to connect to the question that you have. So those are quite difficult to do. Um, L2 reading, reading in a foreign language, is not automatic. So the choice, uh, you, you have to think about which kind of reading you need to do. Um, and you need to often consciously choose which strategy you're going to read by. Um, scanning and skimming are difficult. Um, and another important thing to think about for your second language, and of course your first language, is that extensive reading is good practice for all of these strategies. So if you want to be good at skimming, you should do extensive reading. If you want to be good at scanning, you should do extensive reading. If you want to be good at intensive reading, you should do extensive reading. 
and this will make you faster and better at intensive reading. So extensive reading is, is the best way to get better at all of these skills and the best way to, for them to become automatic as well.